So probably my favourite club in the bag is Driver. Uh, Fox head cover to start, which is looking a bit scruffy nowadays, but I um, actually got a new driver in the bag at the moment, the Shrixen Z85, um, first week in the bag this week, with a uh, Mitsubishi Diamana 70 gram X, bordering on double X, I think. Um, but probably carry that 315 to 320 yards, depending on the on the conditions. Um, this week, being warm and dry, probably up near the 320 mark, which is quite nice. It's sort of been my weapon the last last couple of years, and, and what's really helped me, you know, in my good week. So hopefully, that long may that continue. I guess shots gained driving is probably the most important stat, and um, you know that encompasses both length and a bit of accuracy as well. So that that's a much more important stat. But driving distance is always a little bit of an ego thing, and I, I would say I like to be up near the top of that. Uh, three wood. Again, new in the bag this week um, is the Epic Flash 3-wood. Um, I'd change it this week up to 16 degrees. Um, it's coming out a little hot at, at 15. Um, and that's a Mitsubishi 10 C shafts, uh, what is it, 70X as well. Um, you know, I've had issues with 3-wood for the last little while and this one seems to be going pretty good. Um, and uh, I basically only use 3-wood off the tee, so it's sort of a, an important, you know, run out club or a little bit of accuracy off the tee club. So, um, yeah, it's, it's been going well in practice and, and hopefully it you know, can continue out on the golf course. Um, next in the bag is 3-iron. Uh, it's the ZU85 um, 3-iron. I actually swap that in and out depending on the golf course. If I'm playing Lynx golf, it's a, I use exactly the same specs as this, but a 2-iron. Um, and that's just got the KBS hybrid proto shot shaft in it, 105 gram X. Um, the only reason I've got graphite in it, it just helps flight the ball a little bit better. Um, steel in the past for me has come out a little bit too flat. Um, and there's actually no difference in carry between the three and the two for me. Just a big difference in flight. The three comes out really, really high. Um, and the two comes out pretty flat and hard and you know, it's great on Lynx Golf but sort of around the Middle East you, you want something that comes out a bit higher and softer and don't need it so much off the tee so the three irons in the bag this week. It carries, I, I work in metres so 230 metres which is 255 yards something like that um, you know, and it's you know, especially around a course like Abu Dhabi this week you need a bit of height to land the ball soft into some of the par fives, they are, are some fairly long par fives so um, three iron was a much better choice than, than two for me this week. Um, irons wise, I got four through pitching wedge in the Shrixen Z785s. Um, traditionally used blades in the past, but I'm really enjoying the, the small cavities in these. And um, I've used Dynamic Gold X100 shafts for near on 10 years now and um, can't see a, a reason to change. They, I, I trust the flight of them, um, seem to have pretty good distance control with them. and. Um, you know the spin rates are very consistent so I've kept it that way. Just to get the swing weight up I like it at sort of D four, four and a half. Um, so just add a little bit of lead tape to, to get those, those head weights up just a little bit. Um, wedge wise I've got the, um, the RTX 4, Strix, uh, sorry Cleveland RTX 4s um, and 51, 56 and 60, even though this one says 50, it's actually at 51. Um, and I run two different shafts. I've got, in the 51, I've got the X100, because that's more a full shot kind of club. And then for the 56 and the 60, I've actually got the S400s in them. Um, flights it a little bit higher, spins the ball a little bit more, which is um, a bit nicer for those you know, half, three quarter shots, which you tend to hit more with the, with the 56 and the 60. My standard pitching wedge is 150 yards. So hopefully that's not too depressing. Um, last thing in the bag is, I, I've again new this week, um, TaylorMade Spider. Um, just been doing some testing at home with it and it seems to be pretty consistent. Um, and yeah, looking forward to, to putting that in the bag. It's probably been my Achilles heel the last 18 months or so. So um, I've had some good weeks with, with the putter, but had some, some weeks that have been pretty costly with it as well. So. Just looking for a bit more consistency. I've always liked the just the normal, a normal putter grip. Um, you know, I haven't messed around with different putting grips or putter grips. Um, you know, just the standard right below left and um, 
you know, it's, it's the putter's close, and you know, I've messed around with quite a few different putters over the last sort of 18 months to try to find something that's right, and hopefully, we've we've found one. The ball again. This is actually the second week using this. The uh, new Shrixen Z Star XV. I think it's the the sixth model in the line now. Um, I've used every model they've ever had. Um, been with Shrixen for over 10 years, and um, always enjoyed using the ball. They've always bought out what I thought was a, a, the new model was always better than the previous model and that's the same with this. The, the 6 is, hasn't lost the speed off the driver that the 5 had but it, it flights a little softer with the irons, it spins a little bit more and um, a bit, bit easier to control around the greens and um, I enjoyed using it last week of last year for the first time and done a lot of practice with it over, over summer and well the summer in New Zealand so winter in, in the northern hemisphere and um, it's been performing really well.